The Auburn Valley Railroad is a 7.5 inch gauge, 1.5 inch scale live steam railroad located at Auburn Valley State Park in Yorkland, Delaware. The railroad is currently owned by Friends of Auburn Heights and operates during steaming days and other special events throughout the year such as weddings and open houses. Auburn Valley Railroad dates back to the late 1950s. A man named Thomas Clarence Marshall, who lived in the Auburn Heights mansion, purchased castings and drawings for a 484 Northern Type live steam locomotive from Martin Lewis of Little Engines in California. The locomotive's castings are based on Union Pacific Railroad's FEF-1 Northerns. Upon its completion in 1960, it was numbered 401, and thus the Auburn Valley Railroad made its official debut on August 5, 1960, Clarence's 75th birthday. Following its successful fall season in 1960, Clarence purchased another 484 from the Lewis family, another prototype based on the Union Pacific FEF-1s. This Northern was started by Martin Lewis, However, he passed away before he could complete it. When Clarence completed the locomotive in 1961, he numbered it 402. At this point, the railroad earned the title Delaware's Only Steam Railroad, which the railroad held until 1966. After its successful 1960 season, Clarence and his son Tom leased the Auburn Valley Railroad to Historic Red Clay Valley Incorporated for fundraising. Historic Red Clay Valley Inc. is a non-profit organization started by Tom to bring steam passenger operations back to the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad's Landenburg branch. The Auburn Valley Railroad raised over $15,000 between 1961 and 1965 for HRCV, which helped with the restoration of a former Canadian National 260 as well as a fleet of former Lackawanna Boontoon passenger cars. The Auburn Valley Railroad ran its final HRCV trains on July 25, 1965. In 1966, with the help of the Auburn Valley Railroad, historic Red Clay Valley's Wilmington and Western Railroad made its steam passenger debut on the Landenburg branch. The Auburn Valley Railroad returned to operation in 1971 as an attraction for Tom Marshall's Magic Age of Steam and continued to operate until 1977. In 1994, Tom Marshall, with the help from his new steam team, started rebuilding the Auburn Valley Railroad, which returned to service on April 30, 2000. Since 2000, the Auburn Valley Railroad has hauled hundreds of thousands of passengers and has come to the aid of the Wilmington and Western Railroad following several hurricanes. 2020 marks 60 years since the founding of the Little Railroad. Join us for a look at the Auburn Valley Railroad's final event of the 60th anniversary season, Steeman Thanksgiving, as we chase old 401 along the live steam line nestled in the Red Clay Valley. Get a good draft. 
though because that was Upstate Pennsylvania, he gave it to me for free. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's what's all the coal down there in the, in well, the far garage. Want to go grab some more coal for you? Yeah, I want to. Do. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
slow here until we make sure this foot pad. It's all yours. I can take it home? Yeah. Take it home. That is about as close as you want it to get. Can you hear it straight? Yeah, a little bit. Right on Packing on the oh, front left. Front left. Yeah. And then uh, it should be fans too. Fans aren't working as well. No. Yeah, well, fans that, that was all because related. we disconnected everything. Gotcha, here you go. It runs, the throttle's kind of, you turn it and think this kind of jumps. Yeah.